Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is the Jitterbox mechanism. This is a 3x3x3 version and a 4x4x4 version of the Jitterbox mechanism. Uh, the, the Jitterbox mechanism is due to Tanelli Luo Toniemi. Uh, my contribution here was to make a, a version of the mechanism for shapeways with these hinges uh, printed in place so that it comes out of the printer like this. Um, what is the Jitterbox mechanism? So this is a, an example of, of an auxetic material. So most materials, if you, if you sort of pull on two ends of it, it gets thinner in the middle. Um, an auxetic material, if you pull on the ends, it gets bigger um, in the, the sort of perpendicular direction. So if you pull any, any part of this apart uh, in any direction, it gets bigger in all, all three directions. Um, so where does this come from? So the, the, the jitter box mechanism uh, is based on the jitter bug mechanism, which is due to Buckminster Fuller. So here's an animation that Tonelli put together of the jitter bug mechanism. You see that there, there are these eight triangles of the octahedron that sort of rotate um, on hinges at their corners uh, to the cube octahedron and then back down to uh, the octahedron. And then here in uh, the jitter box mechanism, uh, there are these little cubies and you notice this, so this corner one here has three sort of wing hinges on it. And you're supposed to imagine a triangle joining those three hinges. And the next door little cubie has another triangle of uh, uh, joining the, the three hinges that it has. And the way that this sort of rotates in place to sort of flip from this position to the sort of expanded position is the same as uh, in the jitterbug going from the octahedron to the cube octahedron position. Here's a paper version of uh, the jitterbox mechanism that Tanali put together uh, that hopefully shows um, uh, a little bit more of what the mechanism is actually doing. This 3D printed version is it's quite a bit more floppy than uh, the uh, paper version. It has some, some it has the, the same sort of properties and um, and some other sort of interesting things that it, that it will do. So um, if you pull it up, uh, then of course it expands and it, it will sort of collapse down into the two, um, the two smaller versions, the, the two sort of octahedron versions rather than the cube octahedron version. Um, let's see if I can get it to do it. And if you sort of do it at the right rate, then it flips back and forth between the two. Um, the, the 4x4x4 actually works a little bit better, I think, than the 3x3x3. One of the, the things uh, with the 3x3x3 is that not all of the sort of corner cubies are in the same orientation relative to each other. So there's one pointing out here, and the opposite corner also points out, but then there are six around the side that, that don't point outwards. Whereas on the, the 4x4x4, um, all of the corner cubies are the same, so it's sort of more symmetrical. Let's see if I can do it here. So you, you can sort of pull it up and it extends into the big expanded uh, uh, configuration and then you can get it to flip back and forth between the two collapsed versions. If you sort of throw it up in the air, then it gets bigger. Um, and so maybe if you put a spin on it, it gets bigger and then when it lands it gets smaller again. So it's really a very interesting sort of um, material almost. Uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this, as you can probably tell. Anyway, so this is the the 3x3x3 jitterbox and the 4x4x4 jitterbox. Thanks for watching.